Hello everyone, welcome to the Python series. In this video, we are going to talk about what are lists. So first, let's get to know the definition of what is a list. Lists are ordered sequences that can hold a variety of object types. They use the square brackets notation and commas to separate objects in the list. Lists support indexing and slicing and can be nested and also have a variety of useful methods that can be called off to them. These are two of the examples for what is a list. Uh, here you can see one, two, three, four, five are um, numbers which are denoted in square brackets, or you can take this alphabets A, B, C, D, which are denoted inside the square brackets, are examples of what is a list. First, let me take a list known as my list, and I'll specify the given items in the list. So I can specify the given items in the square bracket notation, which will represent to be a uh, list. So so when I just check the type of my list, output would be shown as list. So this is an example of a list. So I can also check the length of my given list. So just type in alien and just type the attribute name of the attribute and it will be specifying you the length of the given list. So here there are three items in my given list. So the length would be three here. So I can also, um, rename my given list and I'll say I'll take a list to be as one and two and three so I'll give I'll give three items in my list to be one two and three um, now I just want I want to retrieve the first item from the given list so i'll be specifying the index of the given uh, item and i'll be retrieving the first item from the given list so the first item is indexed with zero so i'll be retrieving the first item which is one from the given list so if i want to retrieve the other um, items apart from the first item i'll be specifying to be like one semicolon so here the number which is specified before the semicolon is known to be start operation and after the semicolon is the stop so i'll be starting from one so one until the end so one is two and it will stop until and it will print until the end so i have not specified any stop so it would print until the end so here you can see that I have not specified uh, any stop so it will print 2 and 3 so in in case I specify a stop and I say 1 com semicolon 2 it will print only the 2 2 and it will print until the index 2 so it will not print the second indexed value which is 3 in the given list so it will print only 1 and only 2 which where, where I am specifying 1 index so 1 here is 2 and 2 indexed is 3 so it will only print 2 let me take another list and uh, I'll take it as uh, 4 and 5 so when I add uh, both the lists together so suppose I want to add these both lists so my my list and this particular list which is another list and I'll add up these both lists and these both the attributes and the items in both the lists will be combined into a single list so you can see that the attributes in of another list and the attributes in my list are added and given in a single list so I'll name this as my new list and I'll specify it as my list plus another list so now when I type in my new list it would show me all the attributes in the given list suppose I want to replace my, a given item in the list with an other item or any other attribute so I'll be specifying the index of the particular item suppose you say I want to remove I want to replace the first item in the given list so I'll be specifying the index of the first item so I the first item is 0 so 
I'll be specifying the index of the first uh, item and I'll be mentioning which I want to replace with. Suppose I want to replace the small lettered one with the capital lettered one. So I'll be specifying it. And here you can see that uh, when I type in new list, my new list will show the capital lettered one instead of the small lettered one. So now I'll be explaining about some of the methods which can be used in lists. So this is an example of a method. Dot append is a method which is used to add a particular item to the given list. So I'll be specifying the item which I want to add by in this and the new item would be added. So when I just type in new list, I can see that my new item which is uh, 6 is added to the given list. There's one more method which is known as uh, dot pop which is the method which is used to remove a given item from the list. So I'll be specifying the if I want to remove 3 from the list I'll be specifying the item which is supposed to be removed and say pop So I should be specifying the index of the particular attribute. So I say pop and I say um, do. So the item which is uh, indicated with the index 2 would be removed from the particular list. So now I check in my new list. Here you can see that uh, attribute 3 is removed from the given list. So if I don't specify any index value, it'll just remove the last item from the given list. So I am not specifying any uh, index for the given uh, item. So it will just remove the last item from the given list. Now when I type in new list, it will display all the given items except the last item. So item 6 would be removed from the given list. Let me take an example. I say alpha list is a comma b comma x comma So suppose I want to sort out the given alphabets in the particular list. So I'll be using a method known as alpha list dot sort, which will sort the given um, alphabets in the particular list and alpha list in alphabetical order. So when I say alpha list, so all the given uh, letters in the list are arranged in alphabetical order. I can also arrange the numbers in numerical order by just specifying the dot sort method. So by doing this, all the given numbers in the given list would be arranged in numerical order. You can also use a method which is uh, dot reverse with, which will reverse the order of the given uh, arrangement of the items in the list. So when I use dot reverse, all the attributes would be reversed in the given item. So all the attributes or the items would be specified in the reverse order. So I hope you understood all the concepts in the given video. We'll see you next time. 